Conius here. Today I'm flying from Douglas, Wyoming to Casper, Wyoming. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I'll be flying at a flight level of, let's say, 6,000 feet. Let me reset the view and go inside. Set that flight level. Put up the flaps because we don't need those. Take off the parking brake and let's get started. Okay, go ahead and lift off. It's a little trouble getting that to go straight. Let's go ahead and climb. Landing gear up. Denver Center KA471 is type Beechcraft King Air 2 miles northwest of Kilo Delta Golf Whiskey 5,400 feet. Request flight following. KA471 Denver Center. Squawk 6574. Squawk 6574 KA471. Okay, I'm going to level off. We've reached 6,000. radar contact 2 miles northwest of Kilo Delta Golf Whiskey 5,500 feet. Make a Delta heading change for a little bit. Roger KA four seven one. Going above my target altitude. Okay, so now we're on course. I'm going to go ahead and engage the autopilot. Keep an eye on the throttle. Very interesting country out here. Looks pretty much agricultural. Don't see a lot of evidence of people around. Maybe this is a little housing area up here on the left. Not really that familiar with this part of the country. Looks like a Great deal of open space. Must be sort of an aquifer there on the left side where all that green is. I guess I do see like a surface stream or something. So it won't be a super long flight. Probably in a few minutes I will contact Casper. Um, I've noticed something since update 5 it's finding it much harder to land. I don't get the various on-screen notifications and 
markings I'm expecting. So the workaround I found is when I get close to the airport, use the ATC UI to choose the airport I'm heading to, and then it'll set a straight line approach to it and show the pattern entrance. So um, that's what seems to work. Running into a lot of little problems with the update. It's difficult to enter things in. I wasn't able to edit the ceiling altitude for the flight plan. Um, my attempt to edit it caused it to set a target of zero, which would have crashed the plane, which was odd. So I actually had to quit the game and restart to get it to reset to its default value of 9500, which I didn't want to fly that high. I wanted to be closer to the ground. Looks really pretty out here. Let's go back outside. Grab the 360 or the Xbox controller and have to remember to go the opposite way I'm expecting. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Alright, I'm going to go back inside, and let's contact the tower and see if we can set up this landing. There we go, airport list, Casper. Casper Tower KA-471 is 21 miles east, 6,000 feet with Sierra to land. Make straight in runway 26 KA-471. Sounds like he's talking to his twin brother there. Okay, so the question is, did we get a landing pattern out of that? I do see an entry, so maybe it will show up as we get a little bit closer. Intentionally keeping the speed down.
reset the view. Okay, 13 nautical miles out. Go outside a bit more here. Change the orientation so I'm having to kind of relearn. So I want to go under the plane, but I think I have to push up instead of down. Yep. There we go. Alright, that was kind of fun. I see our pattern entrance now. Obviously going too fast for that. Going to continue slowing down a bit more. As we enter the pattern, I will put the flaps down, put the landing gear down. Okay, I'm going to take over from autopilot. I was down a little bit to get the pattern in view. Do we actually need to be a little higher? Let's just nose up a bit. Give it a little bit more thrust just to get a bit more altitude. Alright, that feels a little bit better. Now I think I can see the entrance. like a pretty popular area there off in the distance. Casper, Wyoming. I think I can nose down here a bit, kind of see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps down now. And put the landing gear down. And I'm going to drop throttle maybe closer to 25%. pick up speed as we start descending. So I think I'll dethrottle a bit more just to try to burn off some of this excess speed. I 
Alright, well we're okay speed-wise at the moment. Not sure if I'll need some more thrust to stay afloat or not. I'm coming in a little bit on the low side, but that should not be a problem. Just need to kind of get myself in line again with things. I'm going to give it some more thrust. I feel like I'm dropping a little bit too fast. Okay, I'm going to drop thrust down all the way. I think we're okay to glide into this. I just keep us nose up a bit. Okay, we're going in a little off center, a little crazy. Alright, right, the wheels touch down nice and smooth though, so one not a problem. We're actually on the runway. I didn't put the flaps all the way down. I was supposed to do that towards the end there, but it seemed like we were okay. Okay, so not sure where to go to get off the runway here, but we'll find out. a place over here to get off. Recently adjusted my rudder pedal sensitivity way down. I have it to like minus 90% or something. But it made a huge difference in being able to make more proper adjustments. And I've needed to be using the rudder during turns and I haven't been and it it always seemed to throw the plane into too much chaos when I used it so with the new sensitivity settings I'm actually able to start using that make proper turns good thing they make these little lights out of rubber okay so let's stop here and contact I'll put the parking brake on for safety Taxi to parking. Casper ground, KA-471 taxi to parking. KA-471 taxi to general aviation parking by a taxiway Bravo cross runway 3 Bravo Alpha. Taxiing to general aviation parking by a taxiway Bravo cross runway 3 Bravo Alpha KA-471. Okay, I'd already taken off the parking brake. the slow and kind of somewhat boring part of taxiing. I think I can be going faster though. Not sure if I need to stop and hold here. They haven't said anything, but it seems like it would be a good practice to stop and look. All right.
Okay, I was trying to make that smooth, but didn't quite work out that way. I don't remember the taxi markings making shadows before, that's interesting. It's like they've become real objects. Maybe I just didn't notice before. A lot of interesting looking cars over on the right. Don't know if I can zoom in and see them a little better. I'm gonna get myself off course. Okay, let's see if I can make this turn a little smoother. It helps to keep some forward momentum into these turns and not break too much. But I do need to break to get the turn kind of going. Yeah, that wasn't smooth either. It's almost like I can't turn the rudder enough to get enough turn out of it. At some point I might have to increase the sensitivity again. It's, it's still supposed to max out, though. But I don't seem to be getting a lot of turn here. If I use the handheld one, then I'm getting it, so... I don't know. These uh, Thrustmaster pedals might still have a problem. Alright, well we're going to park in here like this. Parking brake on, engines off. So I'll have to look into why the pedals don't seem to want to go all the way to the extent. They seem to in the sensitivity UI. Um, and then when I turned the rudder on the stick, they went further. So, in fact, I can see the rudder. Let's see if I... Um okay, this is with the stick, and this is with the pedals. Oh, it's just it's not going very far in that one direction. That's odd. Wonder why that is. I'll have to, I'll have to figure that out. Okay, anyway. Back inside, turn off the plane. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.